Watchman Adam YouTube channel. Boy, I got a good video for you right here. Another sign of the Lord's return. Hey family, Watchman Adam here with a video. Guys, I wasn't going to do this video today, but I've really been thinking a lot about it and praying. And I was doing some personal studying earlier and I come across this scripture and like the Lord just really spoke to me. And this is another sign of the Lord's return that people talk about, but it's not talked about as some of the other mega signs, I guess you could say. It comes from the book of Daniel. And one thing I really like about Daniel is Jesus referred to Daniel a lot. He probably referred to Daniel more than any other prophet. And Daniel 12, man, I read that earlier. And Daniel 12 is a very powerful chapter of the Bible. I mean, there's many powerful verses in there. But the one we're going to be looking at is Daniel 12, 4. And this is what the Word of God says. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Now, let's look at this verse, all right? One thing I really like about this verse is, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. So, like, Bible prophecy, all right? A lot of it is coming out now. People are understanding Bible prophecy. People are having dreams and visions. People are understanding prophecy like never before. It's because the seal is being released on some Bible prophecy, okay? But the one I really want us to talk about, all right? Even to the time of the end, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. So they're saying in the end, traveling is going to be very convenient. People are going to be smarter than technology advances. I want you to look at it this way, okay? Think about your first cell phone. Let's even think about the very first computer, how big and bulky they, they were, right? Now people are carrying phones in their pocket that is more powerful than that old computer, okay? Look at travel for years. Travel was done by seas. Then the wheel come along and people traveled in carriages. And it stayed like that for a very, very long time. Now you can get in a car and drive just about anywhere as long as you don't have an ocean dividing you. You can get in a plane and be in China in a few hours. Do you see what I'm saying? A trip that would have took two to three months now can be done in an instant. That is a sign of the Lord's return. Technology is a sign of the Lord's return. Technology is also going to be used by the beast system and by the Antichrist. I truly believe that through tracking, surveillance, and other ways, possibly like DNA manipulation. I mean, it's just the Antichrist is going to use technology. But technology in so many ways is a blessing, and in so many ways it's not like one thing the Lord's really worked on me on hard the past month is I haven't been hardly spending any time on my phone. And like, honestly, guys, it's, a, man, it's a, such a relief. But technology shows you how close we are to the soon return of our Lord and Savior. It is a sign pointing to his soon return. And another thing about the technology, now when the rapture happens and all this takes place, the whole world is going to be able to see and know what's going on. So things are falling in place as they should. Family, I just wanted to come on here and give you this quick video, man. We are going home soon. If you have it, read Daniel chapter 12. Actually, probably in a few days, I'm going to go over this whole chapter. I believe this chapter talks about the tribulation, even the rapture, like Daniel 12 too. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. This is just a very beautiful book. It talks about the abomination of desolation and like, it's a very prophetic book, so I encourage you to read it. And we'll be going back over it some. Family, I love you as always. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Man, I'd love you to have become part of this channel, family. You guys are really awesome. Man, the gospel is 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Jesus Christ spilled his blood for remission of our sins. Jesus did it all. He laid dead for three days, three days, three days. At the end of that third day, he busted that tomb wide open. He ascended to be with the Father, and he is coming back for us soon. And we are looking for that Titus 2.13, blessed hope. And things like this, the technology advances, the knowledge, the way it's increasing, and how it's just happening so fast, so fast, shows you how close we are to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, return. Let's close this video out with a prayer. And after that, I will see you in my next video. Like I said, you guys are loved, and you're awesome. Father God, thank you for this time together with the channel family, Father God. Thank you for these signs you have given us, Father God. So we, so when we're watching, Father God, it gives us hope and it lets us know that the time is near. 
We are praying a hedge of protection around everyone watching this video and their families and myself, Father God. Continue to help me heal from the concussion, Father God, and continue to provide provisions, Father God, and just let your light shine so bright in our lives that we're a city on a hill that could not be hidden. In your son, Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Family, I love you. I will see you all in my next video. Stay safe. Thank you for watching the video. If you're new, subscribe. And if you felt led to donate, you may do so. The link's below. God bless you all. Stay safe. And Jesus is coming soon.